Welcome back, everybody. Joining us now is our friend and Bowie State University Director of Athletics and Recreation, Clyde Doughty. Yeah. The man. The champion. <laughs> champion. Back to back yeah. championships for the Bulldogs football. Yeah. Clyde, uh, how does that sound and feel? It's really exciting. I mean, you put in the work um, to come back after we won the championship last year, to go undefeated after mm -hmm. losing a lot of players. Uh, really is a special feeling for the football team, of course, for the athletic department, and for the university as a whole. The community is galvanized around what we're doing right now. You know, you lose the two-time HBCU Player of the Year, and then you come back and win, go undefeated yeah, after that, that. That was the question, Marvin. <laughs> you know, people were saying, how are you going to replace a person of that caliber? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we stepped up. We have a great system. Coach Wilson has a tremendous system. Mm -hmm. And you insert good players in there. So, you know, the quarterback position, as you started off, we started off with two quarterbacks vying mm -hmm. for that position. One got hurt. He started out. The other one stepped up and seized the opportunity and, and took us all the way through the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and became Offensive Player of the Year in the CIAA. Yeah, Mr. Johnson did a great job yeah. of motivating the team, of There's manufacturing of uh, things and running and passing. He did a great Looking job. Looking like Lamar Jackson yeah, sometimes, bit. you know. Yeah, like a junior can, Jackson. I mean, really. Yeah. But, you know, he had surprised me, his accuracy. I didn't know he could throw so well. Especially on the run. I knew run. he could run. Especially on the run. I yeah. mean, he, he, he's got a good vision. Mm -hmm. He's got a nice arm. Uh, he sees the field very, very well. And his, his receivers have been responding to him. Mm -hmm. And then we have the defensive player of the year, also. Yes, uh, that young Dimitri man. Morsell. Dimitri Morsell. He stepped up right from the beginning when we really needed some coverage on the corners. He really stepped up, made some key interceptions uh, and some Three in pick the game. sixes. Three pick sixes. And, and a leads of, the NCAA Division II in, in interceptions. interceptions. Yes. And he is from Wise High School. Wise right High School, here. right in, in Port, uh, yeah. Prince George's County, yeah. mm -hmm. and which is a great football yeah. uh, program That's a there. great place That's to be good. getting yeah. players from. <laughs> and if we can keep that pipeline going, yeah. we'll be doing okay. The starting centers from Wise. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. The amazing thing about it is, you said something I caught it, is that you said you lost a lot of players. Uh, not only the starting quarterback, you just replaced them and didn't miss a beat, but you lost a lot of other great people, and then you all go undefeated. That's unheard of, and we said, like before, you are the New England Patriots of <laughs> college football. <laughs> yes, um, everybody stepped up, and you know, uh, Coach Wilson has done a great job of redshirting players, getting them ready to move up to the next level, and then it's the next man up. So it's the next man up. You get your opportunity and you seize the moment. And that's what these young folks have done. I mean, the offensive line, we <coughs> lost a lot of people besides our quarterback, the offensive line. So there was people who was un hungry that's to right. play. And now they learn how to win. Mm -hmm. Learning how to win is really critical. Yes. You know, you know, you see people in games and they don't really yeah. know how to finish. Yeah. They don't know what it is to win. Where were games when we played Shaw? We shouldn't have won that game. We really shouldn't have. <laughs> but they wanted to win mm -hmm. more than Shaw. So it shows in the whole spirit of the program. So you teach young men how to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to take it a little further um, than just athletics. You know, you as an athletic director, you know, um, you can rest easy knowing that your athletes are also good people and good men. Um, and that's something that this program, you know, undervalued that, you know, it's a lot on the field, but they're also undefeated, you know, in the classroom and doing things around the university. I see these young men, they are polished. Um, and that has a lot to do with the athletic director and the coach and everything like that. How proud are you as an athletic director to see not just good athletes, which will go out and celebrate, but good men as well? Well, that's something we preach, starting with Dr. Bro. Uh, our strategic priorities are academic excellence through the success and long-term institutional viability. Yeah. If you start off with your academic success, there's nothing that's going to get in the way of student success, and you're going to have long-term institutional yeah. viability. Mm -hmm. So we're very proud of our young men, mm -hmm. the way they represent themselves, first of all, and that's what we teach them. You've got to represent yourself at all times. Mm -hmm. You've got to be polished and ready because you never know who you're going to run into and what you're going to expect. So the next step is then now taking that and projecting it out into the community. And we have to start in our internal community, too, first. It starts there, and then it branches out into the external community. So we're very proud. You know, as a point, um, Lou, when we were at the championship game and I was in a hotel with the young men and they were having breakfast and after the team left to go uh, to practice, the, all the people in the hotel said, that's the nicest group of young men we've ever had in our hotel. And we see a lot of people and that made me the proudest, yeah. you know, win, lose, or anything. Absolutely. I know that uh -huh. they have represented wow. themselves with pride mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> that bulldog pride. So yeah. that, that's incredible. 
extremely important, and thank yeah. you for that, Lou. You yeah. know, uh, Coach Wilson has also, um, he has a guy named Marvin Cornish mm -hmm. who really works with those young guys out off the field. He's our inspiration. He's a great guy, and Marvin. he's our frat brother, by yeah. the way, Lou. Uh, yeah. uh, you had to but, throw that in there, right? Yeah, you know we had to <laughs> throw that in. But he has done a great job with those guys also. So he has a, this program, this whole football program. Is well, just, well, from all different aspects, and we understand it, it takes a village, and mm -hmm. I, we have a strong village raising our young men. Mm -hmm. And Cornish brings a lot to the table. He's very <laughs> understanding. He's got this, uh, um, experience, yes. you know, what he does on a regular mm -hmm. basis. Right. And he brings that to the table, nurturing these young men, showing them what it takes to win on and off the field. So mm -hmm. we're very proud to have Coach Cornish and Coach Frazier also too. Coach Frazier. Who, yeah. you know, got his start, you know, Wilson got his start, start under on Coach Frazier. And he's around all the time giving words of advice. Just any support that he can lend, mm -hmm. he's always there and he's a proud bulldog. Mm -hmm. And these kids see that. Mm -hmm. They see guys like that, you know. Has the community embraced you all? Because you have been winning for a while now, but has the community jumped out there and just grabbed you all also? And I think the grab started even before the winning. I mean, they were there supporting us through thick and thin, even when we had some tough times. So they understood that when the good times come, we're gonna roll with them. So yeah, they have really rallied and put their arms around us. And I think more so of what we have done as a team to show them that we respect what they do for us. So without them supporting us, and Coach Wilson is very intentional about supporting the fans and coming out and doing things for them outside of football. So it's a user-friendly world, and we are here in a position that we are uh, really appreciative of what they do for us. And, and, and to that extent, you know, the, the, the games, the Bowie State games is an experience, you know. Yes. The tailgating, <laughs> the 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 atmosphere, everything. It's really top notch, you know. And it's like when you want to go see a good experience, mm -hmm. you know, it's a gem at Bowie yeah. State. It's a gem at Bowie State. So it's not just a play on the field. It's like how you recognize the alumni one game, fraternities another game. Everybody is um, uh, being recognized, and just the atmosphere there. It, it's it, it's really you can see the Bowie pride. I want to know State what's pride. happening this week. When, well, you know, with the playoffs <laughs> coming to Bowie State so, yeah. and all the atmosphere, I know it's going to be off the chain. Yeah, like Slatter Family Stone, it's a family affair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you have at Bowie State. Yeah, you know, Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> this week we just—it's business as usual. This week it's yeah. a little different than the regular uh, opponents. We play our conference opponents. We're familiar with them. They're familiar with us. Right. This is a little different. We're playing a team out of Tennessee we've never played before, mm -hmm. so we have to be really focused on it because you know you're one and done. So we want right. to be able to be not one and done and move on to the right. next level. But it's this the third year. Be good yeah. the third, third year, year that, that you all have been. Doing this, so it might yeah. be a new opponent, but Bowie State hosting a playoff game <laughs> yes. in the NCAA. Yes, thing. yes, yes. Yeah. And, yes. and Carson Newman, perennial top notch team. For they put the out so many players was, in the NFL. Yes, and I was looking at yeah. how long they've been in the playoffs like 20, 80 times already, mm -hmm. yeah. been wow. in the Division II playoffs. So they're seasoned. Yes. They got a new coach and a new, you know, a little mm -hmm. new program. Mm -hmm. It's a little different. So mm -hmm. we're, we're really excited. Yeah. They're really excited and they're coming to our backyard. So we mm -hmm. have to protect how the Bulldog. Protect yeah. home. Protect home. <laughs> we got to protect Bulldog Nation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's the game time and all that stuff? Well, mm -hmm. the game is at 1 o'clock uh, uh -huh. right at Bulldog Stadium. Yes, get people get in the stands. Well. We make this a real home game. We want to make it just like homecoming. We want everybody to come yeah. that might be a little cold that's a put yeah. your coats on that's what they that's what they have coats put your hats mm -hmm. and gloves on you know on, that's when real football is played that's exactly. Right. exactly november and december yeah, exactly. meaningful yeah. football in yeah. november december because a lot of people be, would want to play hello now. <laughs> yes exactly and let's let's talk a little bit about bowling because oh, yes. five straight championships and, we're picked and have them. gone into it's the NCAAs and we're uh, picked, to, picked to win again this year? this year, this year okay. and we've yeah. already started off 12 and 0 this year in, in match play so mm -hmm. we're rolling again our coach doc um, mm -hmm. Campbell has really replaced our star Diamond Carter who right. was really a sensational player yeah, he replaced four years her, ago, he did something. she won four championships yes. she was our anchor so she's, he's replaced her with some quality people and some of the other folks now next lady up and they have really stepped up already Lou can you imagine playing four years in college and winning a championship every all four years. I mean, that's that's what, just, and that's what Diamond Carter that's did. What Diamond you know? Did. That, no, that's what's happening at Bowie State. Yeah. yeah. I just mean, winning people, all around. Some of these kids now, all they've known is CIAA championships. Mm -hmm. Some of these kids, all they've known now is hosting a playoff game 
in the, in the, in, the, in right. you know. So it's kind of like <laughs> you know they're expecting to be there because mm -hmm. this racing towards excellence is there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I can imagine it, and it's like that is, uh, it's like success is breeding more success because you know you tell others, mm -hmm. and it just becomes easy to do. But again, that linchpin is that if you have good people. Yeah. Right. It starts there. It starts there. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I appreciate Congratulations, it. Congratulations to Dr. Bro, president, yeah, absolutely. and to Coach Wilson. Yes. I almost want to pull out the pom pom. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, we have a, we, we have a, we have some special guests who are coming up.